All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about histogram shapes. Now, let's say we have this sample histogram. If you recall what a histogram looks like, it's a bunch of bars similar to like this. It could look like that, All right? It's not like that. And we can approximate the histogram with a smooth curve, which we call a smooth histogram. Smooth. Because we approximate a, um, a line to it, right? And what we're going to be talking about is the shapes of these smooth histograms, right? So, one way that we can um, characterize the shapes is in the number of peaks or modes. So, I have three examples of histograms. There's that one, there's this one, and there's this one, right? So as you can see, this first one only has one peak or one mode. This first, the second one has two modes, and this third one has many modes. So the names we use for these are unimodal, one mode, makes sense. We've got bimodal, two modes, also makes sense. And then for this crazy, wacky third one, we have multimodal many modes, right? So that's one way to characterize these sh um, histogram shapes. Now let's focus specifically on this sort of normal looking shape, right? We can see that it's symmetric, and we can see it's symmetric because there's a vertical line of symmetry such that the part of the histogram to the left of the line is a mirror image of the part to the right. So if I were to split it in half, this left part would be identical to this right part. I mean, the way I drew it, it's a little bit off, but for the most part, it's symmetric. And um, now we can break it up into different types or different... Um, now we can break up the histogram into its... Um, sort of pieces. So we would call this end part, this tail, its upper tail. And we can call this lower part its lower tail, right? So the names kind of make sense. If you're starting your histogram down here and then you move up, lower, upper, makes sense, right? Now these two tails have to do with skew as well. Like we said, this histogram is um, not skewed, it's symmetric. So let's say we have, oh, it's gonna float away from me. Let's say we have these two other graphs. We've got this one and we've got this one, right? So you can definitely see that there's a skew in both of these, but there's two different types of skews. And um, we would call this one positively skewed. I'll put that right there. And we would call this graph negatively skewed. Um, we call the first one positively skewed because the upper tail of the histogram stretches out much farther than the lower tail, right? You can see here, stretching out. And then it this lower one is negatively skewed because the lower tail stretches out a lot further than this upper tail. The way I like to memorize it, these um, names, is if you think of sort of a plot and you have your positive x values running here and your negative x values running there, the positively skewed um, histogram, its tail is on the positive end of the graph, but the negatively skewed one is on the negative side, right? So that's just some quick little way to memorize that. Continuing on, we can describe this histogram as a normal curve. And what makes this curve normal? Well, it's not only symmetric, but also bell-shaped, right? Normal. And there are also two different types of histograms that are normal but are characterized as two other sort of or have two other distinct characterizations. So we have 
this graph and then we have this graph. So as you can see there's a lot of differences between this one, this one, this one, and that one because, and it all has to do with the lower and upper tails and um, we call this one heavy-tailed and we call this one light-tailed. Now the reason we call this one heavy-tailed is because there's a lot more tail for this one than the normal graph. And this one's called light tail because there's a lot less tail. There's like, you can barely even see the tails. There's a lot less. We would also say that a, that a heavy tail distribution is a curve with tails that do not decline as rapidly as the tails of a normal, normal curve, right? It's very gradual versus here where it, 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 the slope is a lot steeper. A light tailed is a tail, is a curve with tails that decrease decrease more rapidly than the normal tails. You can see here our slope, if you uh, set them side by side, the slopes are a lot steeper for the light tail than the normal. And that's how easy histogram shapes are. Ooh, it's the end screen. Click on one of these links to be directed to that playlist. And don't forget to subscribe!